we have, you know, black folks, and basically we've got electrons, protons, pretty much big old radioactive solar wind tsunami coming up at us because we've got a six point. Now remember, when you're looking at this here, this is Jupiter right there, because basically what they're doing is they're showing when you've got to remember when, what you got to know where you're at in space. And the actual factual is we're getting all this energy coming in. See here, your proton and your flux. We're, they need to get a bigger gauge because of what we're getting here. Now, I would say the same time frame that we ended up having this energy come to us that uh, we're probably might gonna be, we might get up into the X class here within the same amount of time that it took from our last large M class possibly on this here. We might we might get a, a good shocker here pretty soon. So this is what you got going on here. We'll just keep on going through the data here. Now we're going to come back to the earthquake stuff. And this is Jupiter and I apologize. Last night I had a nice shot of Venus and you could see Jupiter and I'll see you in a minute if we got a fresh shot from three but what we what we've been seeing from three lately has been right there what we're getting is blocked out and you can see Jupiter there so that's the line on Jupiter so we will get back to uh, I mean that's the line on Venus excuse me okay but there is Jupiter we've been able to see it and recently this here shot here so I'll refresh we can even refresh right now here let's see what we get how fast we can get something in but as you see right now, we're still. So once again, Bino shows you the roadmap because basically that is Jupiter. And what we'll do is, uh, and I can always be actual factual wrong, but usually if I've ever made a mistake, I go ahead and uh, I get back with you. Now remember, this is all your photons and flux and electrical energy that we're getting in off the sun, off of this CME, okay? But you see that it's flipped around because basically this is what's headed towards pretty much the coronal mass ejection, the CME that we got, and that's basically Jupiter, because basically Jupiter is being able to be seen, which basically you need to flip it around to be correct, to be like what you should actually factually be seeing. Now we're going to come back to the earthquake action, I'm not going to take time to edit that. Basically that is Jupiter over there to the right, how it's supposed to be, and this is towards coming towards Earth. So now we'll basically go through here, we got that shot there. you got to flip this around too, you see they got the limb up here, which basically this covers up the star belt got to remember that they have this disc right here and then this can close the retinal on the camera in case they get something that's just you know they have sensors to instantaneously just whamp, close it shut and and then open it back up when they have anything that light curvature that it would hit it too harsh and too fast so we'll go through the wings you can see you got your CME your M class high six so we're gonna get close to an X again you go back and search the data when the last time we've had an, an M and it's not been that dang long ago and then here's some of your data with the protons and so forth coming through your know, partic particulates and remember this is all from ACE and B out in space between the Sun and Earth and protons and then uh, I'm pretty sure that I've got uh, there's more in protons and I've got I should have this there our CME map coming off and this will hit earth so we got this stuff coming at us pretty damn fast and we're already absorbing you see we already got it from uh you go back and i do believe that i can hit uh we'll hit play on this here and we'll get a some action here i'm not going to take time to edit too much there's a little bit of mistakes in here but So that's basically our CME. The player's playing them okay there. And we'll see what else we got. Uh, and then, as you can see, the big CME right there. Boom, and this is going to be coming. Remember, you can always watch me full screen, so freeze and read, and this will tell you about your 6.5 magnitude CME, coronal action ejection. And then well, I'm going to take you back to the earthquake data, and you will factually be able to know that Mother Earth already knew that this was going to happen because it started shivering along with all the electrical energy off of that. There's more than just the sun out there, okay? So actual factual that your Earth knows before anyone that this is going to happen and then this is all of our protons that we're absorbing already immediately after that CME went off so stuff moving hella fast There's probably stuff that was moving 7,000 plus 
uh, kilometers a second and stuff that came off the sun here. And then IE wham when we got our solar wind picking up. It was like I'm talking, to, you know. And the, uh, I'm serious. When it, when that CME comes off of the sun, I mean, it was wham It's like 7,000 kilometers a second particles fly, i.e. particles like, uh, you know, way smaller nanoparticles that you always see when I'm usually showing you the Sechi action. And then the, the Sechi stuff that I've showed you recently, you're probably going to want to check that out. So whether you're at my uh, new channel here, basically, and I still have my old channel. Matter of fact, I might even be able to go ahead and upload. I think they might have gotten their proverbial head out of their you-know-what. Uh, you can always talk about a mule. You can talk about an ass. So they might have got their head out of their ass. So uh, anyway, I've got my links here basically being able to help you secure your email legally, privileged, confidential, and so forth. And then also the tracking that you get on the Internet when you go from site to site to site. And basically, it's over here at Secret Lock. It's a long explanation. Uh, basically, uh, I'll make a video and explain it a little bit further and post it there. I just want to share the factual and then uh, that basically nonprofit. You can go ahead and uh, go here, click on those links, and be able to secure your email and do legal disclosures so to be able to make sure that your email is legal privilege because every court in the country does legal uh, through the internet uh, pretty much at least this state that I basically am in right now does that and so basically your legal uh, confidential in your emails and anything to do with the internet and as you see the one disclaimer is so damn long but it protects everything and helps your email so that the factual that your legal privilege and then you'll always see my signature because you'll have way on the bottom or something you know, you'll have a connection to one of my Beano Black you know basically Beano Black Day, Beano Black Op you know Black Day the sun you know to go away that the idea that that's what I'm watching the solar and then you know the truthful and factual actual for me that the idea that I've always been warning everybody about the rabs you know I'm a very actual factual person so and uh, there's certain things that don't like that so anyway you know I know it's all commerce and everything like that so I try to call everybody that's not going to kill you uh, long runs is probably not going to help your cancer rate and everything like that. So every one of my channels, every one of my windows, you, sh you can go ahead and here and secure, do a uh, donation, make a pledge, and you'll be able to secure your email and your links that you notice that the idea that you get tracked. Uh, you might have been getting a lot of viruses lately and everything like that. So every one of my channels, you got the links here that you can go ahead and then you can also show people about the raids, the rads there, because that site's been up for a long time. And then... Uh, they click through my sites and basically my old site, you got it there, and earthquakes, actual factual data, and then we need to get over to uh, checking out the actual factual on the earthquakes or anything like that. So, and then as you can see, I got every one of my, because with your free speech, you can, you know, you have the right to free speech and you have the right to legally tell people, you know, how it is, because basically, you know, you don't have to go hire a lawyer for everything in the world, you see what I'm saying? So. Basically, you go over here and you donate and you get free consultant information of how to secure uh, data tracks and so forth and everything like that because you're legally supposed to be able to have a confidential email so that you have, if you're going to do pro se, pro per, that you can legally communicate with the courts, i.e. that no one should look at it, your emails because it's legal, confidential, privileged information that you put in your email box. And if you put, you know, basically you just need to make a donation and then we can take care of your things there. And yeah, there's going to be about a lot of lawyers that are going to be mad, but there's going to be a lot of lawyers that will probably want to advertise at one of my uh, sites because the factual is that the idea that then they will have the information that they told, you know, the, any person that makes a donation has already told whoever was prying eyes and looking that they legally shouldn't be in there looking and prying without a subpoena. So actual factual your lawyers will tell you that basically that's the factual truth and then I share you the factual of the radiation and so forth and what's actually going on and it's gonna get a lot more loud because the West Coast of the United States is gonna start getting a lot more of the junk so be no black actual factual been telling you the truth for a long time about a lot of stuff and we'll keep on watching what we got going on with star action that's way the hell out 860 some light years away but we do end up bleeding through the sky and we see it and we are kinda of like in a dirty 30s mode of you know, heat uh, 2012 was record 
ever kept the man records, times, heat records everywhere were busted. Okay, so more actual factual. Let's get over to our what we've got going on our latest on our earthquakes, and I should be able to finish this video out on going through the pages of what we got going on. Now this is up to date recent. Now it might refresh on us while we're going, but as soon as we get to the next page, it should just stay with whatever that that stays got up. Now at the end of this one here, you're going to start seeing that this is we're just starting to calm down actually just a little bit right now, but we might still get some sixes or something like that. So we go to the second page, and you're going to see that, uh, and you might see some new areas. Now remember, the magnitude of the quake is this number right here. That's your magnitude. Now we really shouldn't get any refreshing while we're going down through this. But as you see, my toolbar will stay up there because they're wanting to spy on me and see what I'm looking at. But usually when I'm in you know, the, the mode that I'm in, yeah, then that will go away like that. So anyway, I want to say hi to the federal government and all the sneaky spies and everything that spoofs and looks at everything. So that the idea that Beano Black is just heck of fine because don't want anything to happen to Beano Black. And Beano Black knows nothing's going to happen to Beano Black because Beano Black can take care of that with his own bare hands. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I am a butcher. I am a meat cutter. And I have actually done a lot of killing because I am an ex, I'm not even an ex-butcher, I'm still a butcher. So the idea that usually, that I, in the, there's been historical records of Mr. Beano Black taking care of uh, business when anybody's decided to get a little bit stupid around Beano Black. So anyway, we've got more, what we got going on with earthquake action here. And that's just some actual factual, ladies and gentlemen, this is all actual factual data. Very factual person. So... What we got going on is what you see in the third day of paging and what the date, you, you just read it, left hand side and we'll go through here. And you're going to start seeing some six pointers we got for earthquakes coming through here. And I'm going to keep sharing the actual factual, scientific fact data with everybody. Because Beano Black is a very factual person, okay? Now the fact is, uh, I might do an interview with someone that I basically have never really paid attention to too much of what her, I went and checked it out a long time ago here last year. That and then you know she was made a nice comment and stuff like that and I communicate with her and it sounds like we might do an interview this weekend. Uh, I have communication issues, not my problem, but the idea since I get spied on a lot, that the factual that uh, I might have a little bit of a you know, but we'll get the interview done one way or the other with her. Uh, she's interested in doing some stuff, uh, and we'll clear up a lot of uh, you know we'll get down to the actual factual of a lot of facts. Not any theories, not anybody's truths. Remember, Bean always tells you facts are facts. Everybody's got a truth because they get brainwashed with whatever truth that you want to get brainwashed from by someone about some kind of truth. Okay, so we do have a 6.7 factual actual data it was 10 kilometers deep. Okay, and then they had a lot of other action. And then you can watch your times as you can see that all pretty much the same time, but these sensors did hit 6.7 there, 6.5. Okay. So then we can go ahead and we'll go over to we'll keep going through the factual of looking at the magnitude of the quakes because you can watch the mag line and you can watch your mag numbers as you're going down through here. So we'll keep on going and then you pay attention to the you know every once in a while we get a new location. Now we're going to get back here a couple I'm actually a day or so late of showing you, but I just knew I could you know give you this and we didn't end up with anything. We haven't had a seven pointer for a while and it's usually seven pointer or above us when you're really going to get a bunch of destruction or shaking and breaking and possibly something. It's always in a you know a very uh, let's say undeveloped country. You want to be careful of it. Even even anywhere in the world, actually, a developed country or whatever. The idea that if you're around, you know, working in I've worked underground work before. I'm an industrial commercial electrician, so there could be uh, some uh, you know underground work that you could be on and stuff like that in certain areas. I mean, if there's earthquake activity, then your shoring needs to be even more better than what your shoring is what you normally do with a with an underground job. So, I mean, a lot of this stuff is very important for people to keep a, be aware of. So, because the actual factual that the idea you wouldn't want to be working in an underground or mine or, or in a trench, if the idea of the factual that you're going to have something like this, you know, like a 6.0 quake, 33 kilometers deep over there in Iran. And there's a lot of construction stuff still going on in Iran, overseas. Uh, the majority of all the construction work in the world is going on overseas and so forth. So forth. Uh, American corporations, uh, even though they might be headquartered in another country somewhere or so forth, so such. Uh, employees from America going over and engineering and running and working, doing the work. Okay, so then we got like a 6.0 again in Iran here. And remember, this is a different page of information. So Iran was getting nailed pretty good. I was going to make a video on that. Uh, I was noticing how they were getting back. Stay alert and aware and watch me those videos.